Hey everybody, it's Neil and I have this wireless inflatable pump and I have a bike with an absolutely flat tire. So we're gonna give this thing a try and see if we can pump it up and I'll show you what we got. So we have the apparatus here, it says open. I guess that's gonna pull off this here to, this is the controller buttons all for it here. And then we have, it looks like here we have a light to use the power bank of lighting instruction, please click the power on off. Okay, so I have to turn the power on. And then I have, wow, that's a really bright light. This is a great little emergency light if you need it. Ooh, it even flashes red. Wow, look at that. And I guess probably hold it down to turn it off. And then what is this other button here? I don't know. Oh, turn it back on again. Oh, it's got a flashlight on this side too. Look at that. Cool. Okay, so we have that stuff there. So let's see what else we got in here. So in here, we have all the other pieces of parts. We have a carrying bag for it. We have a glove. So if we wanna do the white glove treatment on our tire, we can. We have a power charger here for the automobile so we can plug it into the car. We have the power charger so we could um, to use a to recharge the battery with USB to USB-C. Let's see, where's that container? Right down the back here, we have USB-C. We also have a USB port, so that's good. So if we need to charge our phone or something else, we can use that for that emergency as well. So let's see here. So then we have the kit for all the inflating apparatuses. So I will see what we got here. We have a, a tire. We have what well, comes with the regular tire inflator. We have, um, that's this end. So this will be like for the regular, I think it's called the Schrader valve there. And then the Presta one, it looks like this here is gonna be the adapter for the Presta. We have other inflators to just inflate balls and basketball, whatever else you can do with those. That's cool. So this one here, I was like the Presta uh, style um, one. So let's go ahead and give this thing a try. I don't even know if this is gonna work. This one here is a very, very old bike with a very old tire. So let's see what we got. So I'm gonna screw on the little adapter piece. And then I will screw this on to the tire inflator here. So we are doing that here. Okay, and then I'll push the button on here for the power. And then I wanna do, let's see how we do this. Gonna have to figure out how to, there we go. So here's gonna be our settings. So right now it's set for 36 PSI, which is probably gonna be sufficient. I'm gonna put this on the valve. Okay, so that is on there. So now, what do you think we push? You think we push that? So we are at zero, let's see how we do. Oh, now we're starting to fill it up. Ah, it is filling up. Yep. Tires rising, we're doing good. I'm not sure what actually it should be on this kind of bike. I'm gonna stop it there because I'm not sure what you're supposed to have on a mountain bike type of tire, but this one here is pretty, pretty good, pretty full. I don't know, I'm afraid if I go higher it'll pop, because especially because it's old. So let's take this off and then we'll unscrew the little Schrader adapter. And there we go. And then we'll just tighten it up and we are good to go. I think I turned on the light. I must have pushed the light button by mistake. Ooh, look at how bright I am. That's really, wow, that's red. it got really bright. So there we go. So it's got all the different settings there. That's, I was set for a car for PSI. So that works good. So it'll probably work with my car. Everything got a little warm here. I think it even says that it says, be careful not to touch it when it's too warm, but not too warm because it didn't get too high a pressure. But if I do my bike that gets like 110 PSI, at that point, it'll be pretty hot. So how cool is that? I like it. Thumbs up.